Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed last week's experiences, especially the trip to Heron Island and learning about the many organisms and ecosystem processes that are involved with coral reefs. Now this week we look at two other important ecosystems that are part of the set of ecosystems that make up tropical coastal areas. Professor Kath Lovelock is a member of the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Queensland and she'll be leading discussion on mangrove and seagrass uh, ecosystems. Mangrove and seagrass ecosystems are often critically linked to others like coral reefs through their role as nursery grounds uh, for many reef organisms as well as playing a critical role in maintaining water quality and this of course is very important for ecosystems such as coral reefs. As part of this week's experiences Catherine Lovelock and her staff will be taking you through uh, a living mangrove forest and explaining some of the key organisms and processes firsthand. Well, in terms of the reading for this week, we recommend that you take a look at chapter 16, which is written by mangrove and seagrass experts Norm Duke and Tony Larkham. Good luck with this week's work.